Your vote 2022, six candidates are running for three open seats on the Rancho Mirage City Council. News Channel News Tatum Larson spoke with the candidates about the issues they think are most important in the city known as the playground of the president. Steve Downs served on the city's planning commission before being appointed in December to complete the rest of Dana Hobart's term after his two decades of service on the council. The local realtor says that previous council members have already done a great job with the city. He says he wants a full term to maintain the small city charm of Rancho Mirage while accommodating the growth of the city and to double down on public safety. Increased by four officers, a little over 10%. That brings us to two officers per thousand population. So I think we're doing our job as far as that's concerned, but we can need to continue to do it for the future. Lynn Mulatto is also a local realtor who has served as a commissioner with the city and sits on the Palm Springs Cemetery Board. If elected, Mulatto says she plans to expand housing for current and incoming residents. Affordable housing isn't just about keeping prices low. We have to look at uh, the infrastructure that will be part of that in affordable housing will it be for seniors, will it be for families, will it be for both. She also welcomes the upcoming Cotina project, which will include a 400 room hotel, a 24 acre lagoon and a master plan community by the Disney Corporation. She says that two studies done by the Coachella Valley Water District and the city's turf rebate program prove the sustainability of the project. We feel very confident. Uh, that this uh, new addition to Rancho Mirage will not only uh, provide a wonderful venue to, to visit, but recreation and amenities, and, uh, but also meeting the needs uh, for water conservation. Meg Marker and her husband own a broadcasting company that can be heard across the valley. The business owner is also pro Cotino and wants to maintain the fiscal responsibility of the city. Right now we're at $70 million, um, which is wonderful. Uh, it's important to maintain that for a rainy day, and as we saw this with COVID, um, our city was able to take care of our most at-risk seniors. Ken Ammon is opposed to the water feature at Cotino and says that sustainability should be top of mind for the future of the city. I'm concerned that having done government work and knowing performance guarantees, some of the recycling technologies may not produce the results that they were promised, and there's no financial penalty for that. Sustainable living means setting forth plans, holding people accountable. Louisa Davis is a short-term rental owner who was a part of the group that filed a lawsuit against the city in 2020 to overturn the short-term rental ban. The eight-year resident of Rancho Mirage says that community oversight remains one of the biggest issues. You can't meet with 10,000 people, but you can have a process in place where the stakeholders or people that care about the decision that's being made can have access to the decision makers. Kim Martos, who works in real estate and property management, welcomes new developments and growth in the city. She believes that climate experts should be a part of major decisions to maintain balance. They could provide an annual report as to the impact our city has on the planet, the utilities, and the infrastructure. In Ranch Mirage, Tatum Larson, News Channel 3.